Hey guys, I just completed my hair and I am going to do a video showing you how you can make your hair look exactly like this. Like this is a two full wig. I just went back to Amazon to see the length of it. Um, it's a five by five closure and I'm not sure if it's 18 or 20. I think it's 20. It looks a little long for um, 18, right? So I just want to make the click on the order and I'm not seeing the length of it. Um, but yeah, guys, let's stop wasting time and hop into the video. Hey friends, so the first step when customizing your wig is to mix your bleach with your developer. I'm using 40, but you can do whatever you want to do. You can choose 20, 30, or 40 volume developer. I always just grab like a plastic bag from the drawer. You know you have a drawer in your house with all the plastic bags. Just grab a bag and just lay the bag over whatever surface you plan on using because bleach could damage your surfaces. I initially left it on for 20 minutes, but I saw my knots. Some people leave it on for like 45. I didn't want to over bleach the hair because whenever you over bleach the hair, the, um, the, the strands start falling out the wig. So, I mean, if you don't plan on using, like if you're somebody that uses wigs one time, then go ahead and over bleach your knots. But I did it for 20 minutes, like I said, and then I noticed that the knots were still there. So I went and I had some excess bleach in the, um, in the bowl that you can see right there. And I focused the bleach on the sides because I was going to do a side part. So at least the sides of the hair were going to, um, you know, the, the knots were going to be cute. So then afterwards, I used the purple shampoo. Y'all, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't think the purple shampoo makes a difference. But it is what it is. They tell us to use it. So I use it. Now, I bought these tweezers off Amazon and they make such a difference. Click on the link um, to see what I'm talking about. It's right there under wigs and you just part away from the hairline and just, you know, pluck and pluck and pluck until you feel comfortable. So just here I am doing it. Okay, y'all, I don't, it looks different to me. I want to keep on plucking, but I'm wondering if I'm like doing too much at this point now. Like. Should I just start? I don't know. You know what, let me start because I think there is such a thing as over plucking. So, um, I don't know if I should let the wig dry or should I, ooh, the hairline do look good, I think. So, I bought this off Amazon. I'm gonna put it in my storefront, I guess. Um, this is the first time my hairline ever looks so good by me doing it myself. I did another, I think I did, yeah, I did another, hold on, how many wigs did I do by myself? I think I did, this is my second wig that I've done by myself, I think. Yeah, this is definitely the best hairline I ever did. And I learned that th these angled um, tweezers are the best. Um, my girl Glamazon Tay on here. Everybody know Glamazante. She was talking about using pliers. I tried the pliers method and I didn't like it. It didn't work. It didn't look this good, but also I felt like I was going to pull the whole entire wig off. So I, I just it wasn't comfortable with that method. You could try that method if you don't have a razor, a tweezer like this, but you just gotta be very careful because literally you could pull the whole entire um, lace off. So you yeah. proceed at your own wrist so y'all the wig is going to get wet once i style it so i'm going to i'm not going to wait one day to for this wig to dry i'm i'm going to dry the inside like the inside of the cap so like the part that's in here that's going to be locked away maybe not if this work I got this wig glue off Amazon. It's not to be played with, but let me show y'all. Let me tell y'all something about what I'm about to do. So, I have been pulling the wig cap back because I noticed, like some some influ some wig influencers have been saying they they don't follow the ball cap method, and I'm seeing. So what I noticed is, first of all. 
after a while, the wig starts pushing itself back. And then I'll like take the wig off and the wig cap then went back. I mean, I guess people are gonna try to tell me that, you know, oh, theirs don't do that. But even when my stylist installs my hair, I notice that the wig cap pushes back. So the wig cap is pushed back anyways. It's really about how you take the wig down. That's the most important thing so that your edges aren't ruined because I did lose a clump um, being fast and, and, and you know, speeding and all that. So yeah, this really is a very strong glue. I don't play with this glue because I have a story time. I was going on a date. Listen, I, I gotta post a story time. This glue is, is an animal, it's vicious. It'll ruin your wig. Cause it hold, the hold is so strong. See my fingers are, let me clean my fingers up from this glue, hold on. This glue, once the hair touches it, it locks it in. So I gotta be very intentional because once I rest the hair on the damn glue, Y'all, I hope y'all not think I'm being dramatic. I literally almost missed a date because the glue was so strong, it ripped the wig. It's a whole thing. I didn't know the wig was, the glue was gonna be this strong. See, the hair is already locked in. The hair is locked in place. Um, ain't no moving. I mean, the glue being that strong is good and it's also, it's annoying because sometimes what if you like put the, I think I had put the wig the wrong place. Okay. Oh my God, I forgot to um put makeup. <laughs> I forgot to put makeup on the wig, but it's okay. I'm going to use the concealer anyways. So, all right, let's go. From what I understand, the girls say do like a zigzag. Kind of. Okay, so what I'm going to do, the lace is so white. All right, I'm gonna, I wish I had spritz, right? Should I apply the makeup now or after? The good thing about wigs is you can always yank it off. Yeah, I could probably just put my correct foundation. I've been meaning to go back to the store. I hate this part because I feel like I can't see what's happening. So this is messy, but like I said, the, the thing about wigs this is forgiven. It's a forgiven process. So there's always a way to correct something. Mascara. Let's go. Ow! My part also isn't very like defined and wide. I am very wary of like really wide parts because wig parts, like if you no, I don't know, some people, I guess they give away their wigs, but if you keep wigs long enough and you're styling it, like the part starts widening on its own, 
So starting off, I think, in my opinion, I'm not a professional, but in my opinion, someone that's gonna wear wigs, I don't think it makes sense to start off with a very like wide part. My forehead is like, I'm feeling this, but my forehead is so huge. All right, so I'm gonna wet this here and I'll be back. Okay, here is, here's the finish. I gave in to my intrusive thoughts and put a little swoop right here at them. I don't know. I was trying to do the, the no makeup look, I mean the no baby hair look, but it, I, I couldn't, I couldn't. All right guys, I hope this video helped somebody. Um, but I, I, let's see what it looks like when it's dry.